this 17.5 nanothalamic eyes had piggyback lenses and as a result of these lenses in the small eye has developed chronic angle closure glaucoma with a significant amount of peripheral anterior sneakia present with a shallow anterior chamber. Uh, the total power of these lenses was over 40 diopters and here in this case we're going to explant both lenses using uh, two hooks. The uh, sulcus IOL is fairly easily extracted from the sulcus and rotated into the anterior chamber. Here we see that the sulcus lens chosen here was a three-piece acrylic lens and this will be cut using a bimanual technique with a pair of IOL cutting scissors while holding the optic with a pair of micro graspers to uh, fixate the lens in the anterior chamber. Uh, both cut halves are then removed from the anterior chamber here as seen here after the cut has been made. The in the bag lens, which in this case is a single piece acrylic lens, is a little more difficult to extract and as we see here we're using a pair of micro graspers holding the fibrotic capsule directs its edge while a Sinsky is used to push down the lens and then elevate it off of the posterior capsule. A cohesive viscoelastic is used to inject and uh, visco dissect open the capsule or bag. And then the difficult task of removing the haptics uh, from the capsular equator is attempted here. You see we have a fair amount of fibrotic tissue around the haptic, and in this case the haptic is cut from the optic, and the optic is then rotated, leaving the haptic in the capsular bag at this time. The uh, second haptic is actually distracted from the capsular equator fairly easily with some fibrosis and cortical remnants and som rings present. And then this single piece of acrylic lens is uh, now bisected and removed from the eye. Important to remember that uh, significant viscoelastic has been used to protect the cornea and maintain space in the eye. And now we can dissect the capsular bag and visualize here the fairly large som rings present here. These som rings, uh, ring um, tissue here are uh, fairly easy to extract from the uh, capsular bag. They're usually not attached or fibrose to the capsular bag and the uh, som rings um, ring present here is then is then moved into the anterior chamber and extracted out of the eye. There's a fair amount of fibrosis present and sheets of fibrotic tissue present around this haptic and the haptic is then grasped with a micro grasper and the sleeve of fibro fibrotic tissue is pushed off of the haptic using a Kuglin hook. Uh, here a cap retention ring is being injected. Um, these zonules may be, are, are somewhat weak and the manipulations can certainly weaken things further and the CTR will act for hopefully long-term stabilization. We put the CTR in of course after the IOL has been removed and the SOM rings have been removed. Here we're stripping some fibrosis, fibrotic sheets of tissue from the capsular bag and now we have evacuated the capsular bag of all its contents. The CTR of course remains in place and now we can place, in this case, a single piece lens. This is a single piece acrylic lens of 40 diopter, which basically accounts for essentially the sum total of the two lenses that were put initially. And this now being in the capsular bag without a sulcus lens hopefully provides enough space um, to deepen the anterior chamber. Going to see glitches is performed using a uh, indirect view with a pair of micro graspers to release the sneakia and open the angle. And the closest case is concluded with suturing all the corneal incisions.